Good morning, traders. It is Tuesday, September 29th. We're two and a half hours into trading. Let's take a look at the market, see what we're doing. We've got a 50-day moving average coming into play right here on SPY. You can see how we tested it a number of times yesterday. Couldn't get through that level, so we backed off slightly into the close. This morning, we took another run at it. And before we could even get there, we've got a lower high. And then we started to see some selling pressure come in. Now, we came down to the low from yesterday. You can see that right here. And that support level seemed to be holding. You can see these tiny little candles and we get a little bit of a bounce. As soon as that bounce lost its luster, we got a long red candle taking us through that low. And now I believe we're going to see some continued selling. So watch during the presentation. Market should continue to come in. There's a decent chance that it's going to come all the way back down here to roughly the 329.50 level and fill in the gap right there that we had from Monday morning. Go into that daily chart, take a look at what we see there. Things are shaping up pretty well, actually. We've got this downward sloping trend line that you could draw visually. Yesterday, we poked above that. That was a good sign. We also have the 50-day moving average coming into play. There it is. You can see I was referencing it earlier. I believe we're going to fill in this gap right in here, but I believe that the market will be able to find support above the low from last week because that was the 100-day moving average. So let's put that in as well. You can see how we barely touched it and we bounced right off of it. So I am looking for a small little pullback to fill in this gap and a higher low double bottom. The bid is starting to strengthen right now and we have politicians continuing to negotiate a stimulus bill. The market would like that passing. So I think that things are actually pretty good. Any pullback here, I'd be looking for stocks with relative strength and I would be selling out of the money bullish put spreads below major technical support levels. I've got a couple of stocks that I like today for day trading and for swing trading. Yesterday, let's start with the first one, SPCE. I showed you that one. I had suggested selling an out-of-the-money bullish put spread on that. And you can see how the stock has actually held up very, very nicely today. So that's in really good shape when we're looking to leverage this $17 level right here below the 200-day moving average. I like it. The stock is able to hold all the gains from yesterday in a weak market backdrop. That is the definition of relative strength. Really like that stock. Take a look at a couple more. Peloton continues to surge higher. That looks pretty good. It's a little bit pricey for me, but it has really nice pace to it. Here's a stock that I've been trading in the chat room. Look at that. Now, this one's also very strong. This, you would need to go down to the $18 level with the stock at 23. I don't think we're going to get a whole lot for a bullish put spread down at that price level. Let's see what we've got right around the $17.50 level. You can see that there is not much a 10 cents bid on the October 16th expiration. So not a lot of premium there, but it certainly is a nice stock to trade on a day trading basis. And here's why I liked it. Let's put the SPY overlay up. It was coming up on relative strength 30, heavy buying. It's also been on that list. It's still on that list. And you can see with the SPY overlay, how the market was down, down, down. Yes, initially the stock pulled back with the market for these three bars right here, and then it started to find support. I mentioned this in the chat room. Market continues to go lower. Stock is actually starting to inch higher. Get a little bit of a market bounce. Whoosh! Stock runs higher. Continued market selling. Stock making a new high of the day. That's how we do it. OMI has been a really nice one for us. I think it continues higher today. Not really any bullish put spreads I would consider on that. NIO, let's take a look at that one. We've had some members trading it today. It's been able to hold these gains pretty well while the market is coming in. I want to go back to that five-minute chart on the SPY so that we can watch it tick for tick. I like to watch the SPY tick for tick with the underlying stocks. And you can see the stock is still floating around its high of the day. So it's got decent relative strength. Go into that daily chart. You can see... Higher lows, nice upward sloping trend line, compression right in here while the market's been soft. I think NIO wants to continue to go higher. So you have to let the market come in. 
let it form that support level, and then I think NIO very well could work today. It's MU uh, announcing earnings today after the close. So this one I think you need to be a little bit careful of. Stocks before they announce earnings tend to be fairly choppy. Take a look at a couple of other stocks. AMD looks like a pretty decent uh, stock as well. And let me change that symbol right here. And I'm having problems with my recording software again. Very frustrating. There we go. So AMD, you can see how it comes and finds support here. That was the breakout. Now that support tested one, two, three, four times right in here. So this support level is starting to solidify and the stock has been able to hold that gap right there. So I like AMD. You can also see how it's above the 50-day moving average. A bullish put spread down below that $73 level would make sense to me. Stock is at 81. It's a volatile stock. So let's see if we can get any decent premium for that. We'll go out to the October 16 expiration. And we're looking around the $73 strike price. It'll probably be $72.50. So if we look at this, the sell the $72.50 puts. Buy the $72 puts. We need to get a dime for that. That spread is $0.07 cents bid, offered at $0.11. Cents. So yes, we could possibly get a dime for that. This has two weeks until expiration, two and a half weeks roughly. So if it expires worthless, we would be able to make a 25% return on that because we've got to put $0.40 cents up for that spread. That's our maximum risk. And we're bringing in $0.10. Cents. $0.10 cents divided by $0.40 cents is a 25% return. Not too shabby for two and a half weeks worth of work. That is going to be the spread that I suggest. And you can see right here how that support level is fir firming up. So the stock would have to take out that support level in order for that spread to be in danger in the next two and a half weeks. I don't think that's going to happen. I'm also looking for the SPY to find some support above it's low from last week. I think that 100-day moving average is going to hold, and you can see how AMD, even during that market decline, still was able to hold this support level right here. There's that deep sell-off in the SPY. Look at the stock holding that support level right there. I like it. So that was the October 7th, October 16th expiration date. We were selling the 7250s, buying the 72s, doing that for a 10 cent credit. I like it with the market coming in right now. You're going to need to have it tick down a little bit. Stock's going to have to come in just a touch, and then I think you'll be able to get that spread done. If the stock closes below 72.50, you got to buy that spread back in. If the SPY closes below the 100 day moving average, you have to buy that spread back in. Why? Well, if the SPY is starting to crack major support at the 100 day moving average, you don't want to be in any bullish put spreads. You want to buy them back, let the market come in, let it establish its next support level. Then you can reconsider re-entering those trades. And if we do take out that 100-day moving average, the next logical stop is right around 312. That's the 200-day moving average. Like I said, I don't see us getting down to that point right now. I feel that this is just a normal correction in a bull market. And I feel that there is support here because it's been a very gradual three steps down, two steps back, three steps down, two steps back. Usually when those drops are that gradual, that is a sign that buyers are still engaged. We had a lot of asset managers who did not participate in this part of the rally. They want to get long into year end. They do not want to miss a year end rally. We've also got some bullishness going into end of quarter end of month, beginning of month. So I am looking for the SPY to come in, fill in that gap, find support, and then possibly move higher and through that 50-day moving average over the course of the next week. That's all I've got for you today. I'm trying to keep these videos very short. If you like that format, please give it a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel and turn on your notifications so that you never miss any of these videos. Thanks. Good luck. We'll see you tomorrow. Thank you for watching this YouTube video. I'm Pete Stolzers and I'm going to keep the trade ideas coming along with lots of education. So make sure to subscribe to the channel and please turn on your notifications so that you never miss another trade. If you like the content, 
please give it a thumbs up. I've loaded two other videos that I think you're really going to enjoy. Stay tuned. We'll see you soon.